I'm Simone Reddington. And we are coming to you uh, from the Wild Style Network, the Salisbury Center podcast studio from our sweet little town of Manassas, Virginia. Until, until they, they kick, kick us out. out. Which could have been very recently. Very recently. Um, <laughs> if you caught any of the last episode. Yeah, episode five and a half was a freaking doozy. Meow. Meow. Yeah. Are Meow. you being recognized? I'm being recognized. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Being recognized as being the gorgeous, uh, no. Co-host? Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Actually, it was funny. Somebody asked me which one I was because they've only listened. Uh, so they had no idea which one. You're like, what? Are yeah. you the scandalous one or the one? I was like, I was, I'm was. i the one that cusses. They were like, oh, yeah. oh, that You're explains like, it. But the other one has tattoos. Yeah. Um, no, it, um, so the way that, I love how we formatted it, that we had five Five and a half, which we have a, when we have our fun yeah. political talk. Six, where we go back to all the fun. things. Fun. Yes. yes. And excite. And then six and a half, guys. We're going to bring it back. You're going to have to wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's election season. So we we have to. Mm-hmm. There's things we have to address, address. And there's so much feedback from the first um, episode. I was shocked. You... You got feedback from the first episode? <laughs> Is it a stack of papers? <laughs> it was a stack of papers. I mean, emails, Facebook messages, private messages, people flagging me in to their businesses because they're too scared to give a thumbs up, which is just wild to Whispering me. Whispering in your ear. Yeah. <laughs> I even had a Democrat chase me down at a debate yeah. and she was beautiful. I didn't catch her. She didn't want to tell me her I name or anything, her. <laughs> but she Sorry, ran babe. after me and I felt somebody whisper in my ear, oh my God, I'm such a fan. Keep it up. I love watching or something like that. And um, and she was like, but don't tell anyone because I have a D next to my name. And oh, I was like, oh. So I immediately and, turned around and took yeah. a picture of her. Yeah. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, gee, no, but I found Christ. her on Facebook. Oh, I did. Okay. Yeah. I found her on there Facebook. You go. Well, you didn't tell me that. Yeah. Um, well, here's the thing is that you can be on either side of the fence, obviously, and like this show because like that's part of the fun and like why we're such a great yeah, match. It's a fun know? show. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I don't blame and I, you. And I love that. And you can love this show no matter who you are. You know, but um, well, we unless so you're certain people, it's been, <laughs> um, it's been several weeks. Everyone's been really busy um, and I am so glad to be back. I mean, John, did you sleep this weekend? You had three events back to back. Yeah, I got a little bit. Yeah. Lots of fights in between. <laughs> In between the fighting and the, you know, the lots shows. of scheduled fights. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Um, but here's the thing: is so we've been busy. We haven't been, had an opportunity to get back in here, but we're here now. And we have so much content for today. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited to show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're amped up today, aren't I know, you? I'm in a mood. Also, what is it? It's 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 like 400 percent humidity in yeah. here. Yeah, like I literally have something yeah. so that I don't blind everybody. Well, with my shininess and the like, the humidity, like the storms, give me a headache. I've had a headache yeah. all day, but now I'm like amped up, so a headache is subsiding. You're unleashed. Yes, um, yeah. So it's been an interesting couple of weeks. Like I said, I've had a million people reach out to me. I'm shocked how much my personal story of my interaction with our current mayor has resonated with so many people in town like i have all these stories that people have come forward where she's been rude to them or they've been asked to leave a function um i i just you know it's her behavior has been rude and um and there's plenty of people that want to talk about it which right. is kind of awesome yeah, yeah I've, I've had yeah. people say the same thing to me but is the opposite um experience that you'll have with jj dj entertainment if you were <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. no <laughs> it won't be rude no, no you will not have a rude or uncomfortable experience with jj dj entertainment john canifer that's our producer here mm-hmm. and uh, our sponsor our yes. one and we have had so many people also reach out wanting to sponsor which and is that'll so be locked down soon i have a meeting with jess next week and we're going to discuss the sponsorship tiers that's perfect but if you have a wedding or a bar mitzvah or any sort of like event that you can dj for or a photo booth for anything like that consider jj dj entertainment to uh take jj dj entertainment.com.com that's right yeah Yeah. just let him know yeah you like that (laughs) <laughs> you good. slid right in, I didn't you? I had to figure out how to work that in. Yeah. No, it's good. But you are you are reaping the benefits of our newly found fame, aren't like, you? Like so much. But like, I, it, almost untouchable. You're almost untouchable. It's very true. I've had zero feedback <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> no one has come to me, um, even a little bit, just besides like regular, you know, people that I've talked to. Um, 
the whole time, you know, since July when we started this, I've been like, oh, everything's great. I love it. I love watching the episodes. Um, but um, we had a little joke in that I had to call <laughs> Public Works for a couple of things recently, and I wanted to give them like a huge shout out. There's stars. There are asterisks by our name, you know. Yeah, in I'm the like, city. if I send an email, they're like, it's. It's it's oh my god! Simone. It's Miss like, France. You don't want to deal with this. <laughs> but let me give this shout out. So um, over on Quarry Street, somebody was dumping trash. Like they were dumping um, like a couch and like a mini fridge, and you know. Um, someone had put up a sign that said, stop dumping trash. I can see that you're doing it. And, uh, but they didn't. So I'm like, I'm like, well, how about I just call the trash line? Yeah. So I did. And they put me over to public works and I don't know, I think this girl's name is Lori and she is doing her job. Like Lori works. Yeah. Lori public works. Yeah. Girl. I think that's her name. I'd be so embarrassed if it's not, um, or the girl, but I've talked to her think is Lori. two times. And then because there was, you know, another situation just like that, which uh, there was somebody had left their yard waste out. Like nobody was coming to get it. I think it was just being overlooked. I call her boom. It's gone. Yeah. But my, my, and I, so Lori, thank you. But my big story, and this is a big deal for me. <laughs> I turned 42 recently. So it was a big deal. Is that between my house and our next door neighbor's house, there's this patch of sidewalk and grass and curb that is not big enough for anything more than like a smart car. Mm -hmm. Is this is this between you and between, Mrs. Carroll or Mrs. or Karen? Um, between Miss Carroll. Okay. So between our driveways, and what would happen is during um, when the school that we live near would have. Um, you know, like a concert or you Game know, event. games or back to school night, people would park their cars there and we couldn't get in and out of our driveway. Yeah. And like, you know, that can be like a hazard. And so I'm like, okay, Karen, just freaking chill. Not Karen, my neighbor who I love, <laughs> but like me, 42 year old Karen. And so one night I finally just like had had it and I emailed uh, Public Works and I'm like, hi. Um, I guess I need to check something. I'm like, I need to let you know. I'm like, there's this patch of grass. I hope to go through the whole thing in the evening, in the morning, like before 10 a.m. <laughs> I get a message back from someone and he's like, hey, um, with a screenshot, is this where you live? And um, I look back and I'm like, yes, it is. And um, I was like, he goes, cool. He writes me back. He goes, I'll put a service request in. And my mind, I'm like, Cool. Maybe in a couple months we'll get our no parking sign because I'm like, are we? Can we paint the curb gold? Like, what can yeah, we do? Yeah. Before I got home that day at 4 p.m., <laughs> there he because he wrote me back. He goes, I'll put a request in. Literally before 4 p.m., I got home. There's a no parking sign in that spot. Yeah. Yep. You're somebody now. I no, I ha has nothing to do with that. It literally is just that, like <laughs> our city does work as a awesome. great public works. It's amazing. Yeah. And I, I'm going to go back and look in my email because I dropped the ball and did, but I believe his last name was like Shank, Stephen Shank, maybe. And I told him, I was like, you are my hero. This is incredible. But now I won't have to like deal with that anymore. No. And yeah, so, it is. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, it's really short because yeah. I usually block it and block your driveway. Which is fine yeah. because it's temporary. But like if you're parking and going into the school for three hours, like, what, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. But the, my point I wanted to make is like, you know, we didn't call the police and have them towed. We didn't like, excuse me, oh my God, do anything <laughs> like, um, Are you, you know, throw up? I know. I was a little burp. I ate before a game. Um, we're not going to do anything like um, passive aggressive. I just was like, let me see if the city can handle it. Yeah. Bam. Boom. But as soon as I got it, I messaged Simone and she's just like, Jesus Christ, they've got our names flagged. Like, we're going to have to. And <laughs> they so, do. It was a beautiful thing. I'm going to look up this guy's name, but everyone at Public Works has been amazing. And I just wanted to shout out. Yeah. Shout yeah. out. And Way like, to go. if you have an issue, you know, call them. Like, don't bombard them, but it's just like, call them before you call the police. Like, let's use our resources before we use our you know, pol police resources, which have yeah, they're, way more things to they're do. They're maxed out. Well, maxed out. Just a bit. Yeah. Just a bit. Yeah. Um, I have a note in here. Let's see. So let's discuss it because I don't know what it means. Data center in Ashton Avenue. Is this yeah. the data center that's going next to the mall? Well, Courtney Burrs, um, my fiance, uh, sent me an article. <laughs> and, you know, because ever since that land next to the um, mall got sold to Amazon after that guy passed away and that, that farmland Compton Compton farm I think and has been there our whole lives I've like, never me, not, not known it there I just love like it was Manassas to me that there was like a farm farmland barrel you know the hay uh -huh. bales across from like the Denny's like that was like this is our town babe yeah and um, but you know he passed it got sold 
from what we hear to Amazon. And so everyone's like, there's going to be a data center on 234. Yeah, Just that's so what I thought. Know, yeah. center on and I'm like, there's not going to be a data They're not going to use it. That's like stupid. Question, is that city or county? Answer, I believe that's county. Okay. And I, but I don't quote me on it, but I'm like 95% sure. Okay. Courtney, do you know? County? I think it's county because it's yeah. over there by Stonewall. Yeah, so. I'm pretty sure. So um, she pulled up an article that that guy's land cut across Ashton behind the mall and behind his property. So Ashton dissects, bisects his, his land. land. And then he owns land behind there that then butts up to Stonewall and the quarry. Do you know there's a quarry behind Stonewall High School? Yes. Not everyone does. You're hearing it here Off first. Off of Wellington, right? Off of Wellington. Yeah. But listen, I think I was 20, 33 when I learned that. Like, I just, I had no idea it was there. I'm also not that smart. But um, <laughs> I've talked to people that were my age, and they're like, what? Anyway, gigantic quarry. But it's going to butt up, like, more to that. So... Why can't they put it in the quarry? It's a good idea. <laughs> and then no one has to look at it. Simone Reddy's in full ideas. Listen, that's what I'm telling you. I mean, I I'm know. available for consultation. Yeah, she, it's okay. Yeah. All yeah. she's doing is a podcast. Throw that and, shit in the quarry. Know, like, Nobody has to look at it. Yeah. But it was exciting when she sent me that because it made me excited that perhaps like we're not going to have a have data to look center at it from Sudley Road. On Sudley Road. And I'm just like, no, I mean, do we need another like, you know, cash checking place or you know i think we, a vape shop would look good vape there shop do we need any more of those no but like <laughs> i just think it'd be like a real waste if like that space wasn't used for you know something commercial or like apartments god knows but i was yeah. just glad to hear that they're planning on putting it um at least for now yeah on the other side of ashton, ashton Avenue. so we won't have to see it that's yeah. exciting yeah it is huh. yeah huh. data center Central. data centers and let's hit down your let's go down your list because i don't there, yeah. oh, you yeah. have a question about solar panels. You have sol why do you have solar panels on we, your house? Courtney bought us a house last July, um, right around the corner from where we were living before, and so the cute. home came. Oh my God, it's the so cutest cute. house in the world. It's a little nest. Um, it came with solar panels on it, and the guy, um, the couple that sold us the house, they're never going to see this. Um, basically, like in the listing, they wrote, "Oh, we have solar panels. Like your bill can be twenty dollars a month, like uh, utilities." And we're like, "Cool!" And like, you know, Courtney is like, you know, re reuse, recycle everything, mm -hmm. lady. Yeah. And um, <laughs> hi, babe. And so um, she's over there she's, rinsing out her milk jugs. She's rinsing yeah. out milk jugs. Like she's, you know, <sighs> just saved a raccoon. But they, um, so we're like, cool. Like it's going to cut down on like, you know, our energy saving. Yeah. It'll get yeah. back to the grid. It'll cut down like the utilities. No. Nothing. No. That's not it. And so she called the city and was like, after our first bill, which was like skyrocket. And uh, she's like, so what is this about? And um, she said to whomever she spoke to, I don't know who it was. Um, she's like, well, in the listing, they said that, you know, that these you're uh, benefiting solar from panels these solar that panels. will benefit X amount where our, our bill will be X amount. And the woman and, I, and I'm not upset about this, but she laughed at her <laughs> and she was like, no. Um, so I don't know what the benefits are in the city of Manassas for them. So my this is not a complaint. This is a question. Yeah. So I would like to ask anyone in the city of Manassas that has solar panels, contact me, like let us know. I feel know. like this was a Facebook question recently, too, wasn't is, it? Did I you see it, something? I think it did, I think too. It was, I think it was Michael Stefanon. Michael Stefanon, Michelle, somebody. Maybe we need to chat. Yeah. But we didn't pay to put them up, um, and uh, they're just there. I don't know if there's some hack or if there's, but I mean, like, what is the point of having them if they're not, because we have a graph that they send us every month. It's not giving that much back to the grid, and it's not saving us anything. So we, is there, are we using too much? Like, I don't know. Anyway, so we need an expert on solar panels. If you have any Reach input out. on that, <laughs> let me know. I'm not complaining. I just want to chat about it. Yeah. I just want to chat I'm about interested it. to hear about it, too, because yeah. it's, you know, everybody's yeah. want to go green, want to go batteries, green. and yeah. da, 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 so, yeah. Or, uh, so anyway, electric cars, come talk not to me batteries. About it. That's all it is. <laughs> it goes to show how much I know about it. Do Escalades? Do they make green Escalades? <laughs> is it a hybrid? <laughs> I don't know, but it's fancy and I love it. I know it's a beautiful car. Um, so, anyway, so that's yeah, it. and we've had some fun stuff go on. Major we had fun. right after episode five and a half came out, like literally within the minutes oh, yeah. after that, Seconds. we decided to march on over to City Hall. <laughs> well, they were having a ribbon cutting. Yes. 
because they just did a whole beautiful renovation there. Then my friend Stephanie Shear gets to take advantage of because she works there. And now there's nice heat and cooling. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> um, but that the other thing they were doing was the um, it was the council chamber dedication to Edgar Rohr, Chip Rohr's dad, and um, and Chip got up and spoke, oh and uh, we sobbed our Sob eyes our out like out. idiots. I'm doing I'm doing heart <laughs> hands right now, and therefore Chip, Nancy, mm -hmm. um, Ginger, Ginger, Car you know Carly, everybody, yeah. and like and baby Ren. That's it. Just, was so sweet. It was just you know. So Edgar Rohr was a visionary for Manassas. He is uh, he was critical in obtaining Lake Manassas, which is, um, you know, our, our water reservoir. Mm -hmm. And now we're searching for other. In addition to Lake Manassas, we have so many people here now. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry you can't fish in Lake Manassas, Timmy. He's a bit bitter, bitter, bitter about that. Mm -hmm. um, but no. So that was really cool. No. And when he choked up talking about how his dad was either on the council or mayor at the time that he pushed for it to become a historic district. Mm -hmm. When he started choking up then, he sorry. He was wearing his Chip. dad's pin. Yeah, Chip, I'm sorry. I'm telling everybody you choked up. I love you. Don't kill me. He won't. He won't. We lost fine. it. Lost it. Like, that was just, like, the sweetest thing. And it then they awesome. they were taking their picture because like, they had his his portrait, portrait. and they mm -hmm. had, had family pictures next to the portrait. But he spoke, and it was just wonderful, and um, I loved it. Yeah, it was really nice. And oh, then we had cookies. Yeah. Um, and then we hightailed it out of there before anybody a, talked I, to us too much. Well, I had, yeah. <laughs> well, I had a cupcake. And then the guy from Potomac Local came up to you and was like, Simone, hi. I oh, yeah. So the reporter. Across, yeah. And you were like, yes. And and also Nikki. And he was like, oh, I didn't see you there. And I'm like shoving <laughs> cupcake in my mouth. And I'm like, yeah, I pretty much blend in the background. <laughs> yeah. He was very nice. He was very nice. We yeah. saw Tom Osina. We saw Always Tom Always so sweet and so mm -hmm. kind and goes out of his way to chit chat. Yep. And, um, I, and, I, and I voted for him today. Yeah. Oh, you I voted. Did, I did early voting. Oh, yeah. I voted. I voted the first day you could early vote. Mm -hmm. And um, it was an experience. It wasn't. I didn't love it. Why? Like I, I went wearing a Tang t-shirt. Oh yeah. The one that she special made for you? No, not my oh. custom made Tang attire, oh. but my green t-shirt that um, I have. Oh, and I have a pink one for you somewhere. Nice. Um, but I showed up wearing that. And the woman that came out that was like in charge of the space, like the precinct, mm -hmm. I don't know, regulator, whatever Voting. it is. Best. She came out and was screaming. <laughs> she got in my face. She was like, you can't wear that in here. You can't. And I was, I was like covering myself. I was like, okay. I was like, all right. I was like, I will turn it inside out. And and she was like, you can't have it. And I was like, I understand. Yeah. I got it. I'm, you know, and she just was like berating me. And so then I innocently asked, I was like, can I go to city hall and switch it inside out? And she was like, no, you may not. Da, 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 da. You have to go home. And so I turned around. I went to the Republican headquarters across the street, walked right in there, ripped my shirt, put it back on. So I guess you can't sure. wear, you can't bring campaign materials within 40 feet of the vote of where you vote. Okay. Um, which, so I, I changed my shirt inside out and I went over there and voted with my deodorant stains mm -hmm. on the outside. And I came out me some and <laughs> <laughs> I came out and I went back over to the Republican headquarters and I switched my shirt back to the pretty side. Mm -hmm. And I went on about my business, but I was like, God, what a yeah. nasty you know, voting should not be miserable. Like no. I now equate voting to going to the DMV. Huh. I hate it. Well, and why I hate it. City Hall. Do I don't it? know. Yeah. Like, what if I legitimately had business? Well, somebody sent me a message later that day that said that woman had come over and said that she had been that she had been given the wrong information mm. and that you are allowed to wear t-shirts in, I guess, or hats. Oh, isn't that so, yeah, conveniently for when I go to vote, I get yeah. screamed at. Yeah. And like I said, she was just whoever you are, lady, you were nasty. You were nasty. You had no reason to talk to me like that. Just say, 
look, you can't come in. I, she even yelled it. There was an observer. You know how they have observers. There was one sitting on the steps mm-hmm. as you walk into. Well, we're going into an old t- t- town hall. It's chopped up. Or a fire station, really. It's chopped mm-hmm. up. So the observer sits on the stairs. And just naturally, as people are walking in, you know, they're kind of, conf- you know, trying to figure out. And that woman came out and she was like, you can't talk to people that are coming. And I was like, this woman, I was like, this is miserable. So they gave me the sticker, but I'm not going to put it on until election day. You're going to put on the inside of the shirt or the outside of the shirt, depending on where you go. No, that sucks. I mean, yeah, like, that's just, just what, made like, it a shitty experience. Yeah. It's like, what if you what if you were like a young person? It was like first, time, like, voting. first time voting. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Someone, oh my God, we're so mm-hmm. insane. But like, that's what I was going to say. It was like, whatever. And I can like, read your mind. Yeah, I know. But, you know, whatever. So it just made it shitty and yeah. that sucked. But oh well. Eat it's shit. over and done. <laughs> It's over and done. It is. And you know what? Like, maybe she, maybe that's what the lesson she had to learn today was yeah, for that day. Yeah, I hope day. so. Yeah. I hope she never talked to anybody you else wrote after scan- me like that. You wrote T-shirt scandal. You wrote scandal in all caps. Like, I love this. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm going to post this on the Facebook she, page. Like, she made me feel like shit. I hate when people make me feel like shit. Yeah, I do too. I, I'm very sorry that happened to yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah. Oh, well. I voted. Yep. Got my got my sticker. I voted today as well. Yeah. Yay. I'm going to keep my sticker for them. Yeah, And then I actually, then I had a friend who was wor- volunteering as, um, oh, yeah, this is good to hold out, to hand out like the sample ballots. Mm-hmm. And this, um, Democrat volunteer was leaving and kind of p- went by her and passing and, and asked, your friend is, my friend was there. She was, she's a Republican. Okay, she was yeah. holding like the Tang sign or cool. whatever. They were hang- handing out the ballots. And, um, the woman walked up to her and said, you know, what's your name? And she told her. And then she was like, what's your name? And then the other woman, I know your name. Um, (laughs) She said, oh, I thought you were that Simone Reddington girl, bitch. (laughs) This is me. Take a good look. (laughs) Yes. The Simone Reddington girl. So that Simone Reddington girl, what what about her? Um, Apparently they all, all the Dems know the Simone Reddington girl. Mm. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for episode six and a half. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Get me excited. I know. You're like, I'm oh, hot because I'm. Yeah. Devil. So. But yeah. Uh-huh. I, so. And what if you. What, what if she had been that smart? I know. Right? Like, I saw something that came. They're looking for volunteers now. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I think I'm available on Monday but at 1230. I just, I just want to know, like, what, what if she had been that? Yeah. Know. What would okay. you say well, to me? Well, what do you have to say to me for having an opinion? If you're watching, and, follow up. Yeah, that's what. And, and, and that's what I'm finding is the culture within our town is you can't speak up. You can't say anything. You can't criticize. You can't be neg. My God, God forbid you be negative. Mm-hmm. But how do you fix anything if you're not l- being truthful about it? Correct. Well, and that's what, not to get too far into it, but I mean, like, that's how I feel is it's like, why, why is it that if you have different leanings, do you have to be enemies? Like, we, I mean, we have very different leanings. We got close just in the last few months and yeah. like, we're like some of the best of friends now. Yeah. Like, why does aren't, it have to I, be like aren't that? Aren't you one of my best? Aren't you like? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just confirming because we like, share locations. I know. I'm like you and your friends. I'm like the fifth corner of the like. Sorry, girls. <laughs> like, I was like, You're the Pentagon. I, exactly. The pentagram. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Now we take nope. it to a whole other level. No, girls. Just joking. Just joking. But yeah, I I would love to. I would just love to see where like if she like are you that Simone Reddington girl and she's like say it was you and you're like yes it is and they're like hey we don't think the same but like I really uh you know enjoy I really listening. love your awesome podcast yeah and like who's yeah. that gorgeous girl sitting right there next with you? to you like just stuff yeah. like that you know yeah. like, I'd love to see that oh, <laughs> oh comedy so yeah that was interesting yeah. um yeah so that makes me want to go volunteer Ooh, although gosh, I just don't want to scene. volunteer I'm um <laughs> give back. I know, no, no, we want to volunteer. I I want to. I just don't want to stand next to that busy road where people drive like five hundred miles an hour. I, well, in my frenzy mm-hmm. to fix my shirt, mm-hmm. I looped around and was like, and somebody like grabbed me and was like, whoa. And I was like, ah. Well, because you almost stepped out in front yeah, of Yeah, I almost going, stepped yeah. right out in front of somebody going 80 miles an hour down Center Street. Yeah, it's super safe. Yeah. Love it's that. awful. But Spe- um speaking of Safe. <laughs> How about this next part? <laughs> <What is that? laughs> 
<laughs> JJ <laughs> DJ Entertainment. I'm using that for every single segue <laughs> because it totally doesn't work here. You are safe when you say JJ DJ Entertainment. Mm. Yes. Um, we had major breaking news recently. Oh my God, I'm going to let you. You're the Noakesville girl. You, yeah. you start this off. They made an arrest in the, the disappearance of Shane Donahue. He disappeared in 2010 was 23 years old, was a, a local kid, had graduated from Princeville District High School. Um, from what I can gather, because there's, Jesus, that is me. <laughs> Sophie. So, um, so, yes, they, they, he disappeared in 2010. It was, it was, there was a, a, always a suspicion that the person that he was last seen with, Timmy Hickerson, was um, involved. Yes, probably the top on their person of interest, but they had nothing to really nail him down with. No. So 14 the, years this has gone by. And this was huge. huge. Yeah. And his sweet mother, Donna Donahue, had at the time erected like that sign. Oh, yeah, yeah. And every, I mean, had like, and it's. It was up to like 4,000 something. Or more. Yeah. And Whatever like it just, but it would be like years. day 45, day whatever. But it was into like the thousands. And she was like, faithfully, she was like, and we're, we're going to find him. Yeah. And this poor woman, she had colon cancer and breast cancer mm -hmm. when it disappeared. So mm -hmm. that's why they were like, they were so insistent. His family was like, they, he would not voluntarily disappear. No. That's not, he no. would not do that. No, so I um, mean, I I am have two of my closest friends of my life of twenty years that um, also grew up in Noakesville. They're about to turn forty. Cannot believe that. Um, but like, they grew up close to both families because, mm. like, you know, Noakesville's not no, I mean, it was not the metropolitan yeah, I know, that it I is don't now. know Timmy Hickerson, but I do know his brother Ben who is a delight, who is sweet, who I've never had an issue with. Sure, like we've sure. laughed and yeah. he's a year older than me. Sure. I mean, I'm not super close with him, but we've, we all yeah. came up together. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they, my two <clears throat> girlfriends, like, you know, they say there was like, it was very, it was um, perplexing and it was, uh, it's, and even today, like when, or in today's time, like they reopened the case in, I want to say March. Yeah. Recently. And then, and then bam, we, they haven't said why they arrested him yet i mean they arrested him on you know, they said that they have um he's a been charged he's in flagler county jail in florida mm -hmm. until he is extradited to virginia charged with burglary burglary and murder so his so shane donahue's home had been burglarized only a few days before his disappearance mm -hmm. again Tim Timothy Hickerson was a suspect in that, but nothing to nail him down. And I mean, this guy, he was he after Shane Donahue disappeared, he was uh, he robbed two different gun stores. Mm -hmm. Right. Here, um, yeah. And he was yeah. caught yeah. and then he was thrown in jail for four years. And when he came out, he moved to Florida and they got him in Florida because he ran a red light. <laughs> And then they, but he was refusing now to sign the extradition paperwork, mm -hmm. which is why they haven't brought him back up here. But like I was saying, it's like, um, I just think it's a, a very, it's a very um, convoluted, difficult thing for people that grew up with both of them because they're like, okay, he went missing. We all think it had something to do with this guy. Nobody can, you know, nail anything down. It's so painful for a sweet mother. Um, we did. Um, listen to both of us at uh -huh. separate times. Listen to that podcast. We listened to a couple podcasts. Yeah, uh, we um, listened to the one that was called like, um, and then they were gone. By yeah, okay, the, the and realtor then realtor in Leesburg. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that was, and she's close by. Mm -hmm. Like she's kind of local. Yeah, and what, what I didn't, I remember the Fairfax Underground. Oh my connection. gosh, Fairfax Underground is. It's so funny because I've brought up Mark Wolf recently, and that was where I remember seeing because Fairfax Underground was kind of like Reddit before Reddit took mm -hmm. off. So it was like a f just an online forum where you could just talk Gossipy whatever. I mean, or, it's had its yeah. Yeah. And it's had its downfalls too. that that firefighter that oh had God, been that harassed so in Fairfax. Yeah. In 2016. Um, OK. If you don't know what either of the what Fairfax Underground is, um, it's I, I don't even know if it exists anymore. I'm pretty sure it does. It does. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's, and some of so it's kind of like Reddit. If you're familiar with Reddit, where you can kind of post a question or it does, it does exist. It does exist. Yeah. Okay. Are you on it right now? And then people can. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you can ask a question and then there's thread, 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 thread. Well, Sub threads. Yeah. I mean, and you after can he stay went, on there for days. Yeah. Oof. After he went missing, there were just 
and I'm not gonna like ruin anything for anyone, but there were these like awful comments about gross who comments. killed him or why they killed him, and like you know they were trying to like paint this picture of him, this that the other thing it was terrible, um, but. Yeah, they. I don't know what's happened recently, no. but they have new. They have. I don't know whether they have new evidence or whether they were able to find something in um, reopening it this yeah. year. But either which way, he's in custody, and I can't wait to see how that goes. Down. I cannot wait to see. And yeah, like, I like I'm like we yeah. could do a whole side three quarter episode mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> like, for yeah. that because um, between that and Mamta yeah Mamta which, she, he's going to trial December I, I just came out today December nine, nine yeah. I think yeah and, and that there's been no other new real anything coming in with that just I know that um, they've released the body cam footage from the police officers okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. when the police officers came for that initial visit welfare check he and this is this was interesting he invited them in the home to come look, and they didn't. Mm. And it's like, you know, that was only how many days after? Yeah. Like, what might have they stumbled on? Yeah. So um, I thought that was super interesting. I did hear they have the Tesla. Yeah, yeah. I heard that CarMax that. turned it back over, or oh, they yeah. got it from Car because he yeah. sold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's not I did smart. Hear that. Um, <clears throat> but. So we will be revisiting the Shane Donahue thing. Um, Just as more information comes out right now, there's out. not really anything. Even no. from 14 years ago, yeah. there's not much yeah. to really chew on. It's but all the same. The saddest thing besides his disappearance was, go ahead and say it. I his know. sister. His sister passed away. His sister away. committed, su- she committed suicide she in by 2019. Suicide. Yeah. And I just want to say, Donna, Donahue, you girl. You're made of metal. You made a metal. You girl. have fought and you're continuing to fight. And I, I hope you're getting the answers. We're not Facebook friends, but like I've absolutely been on her page, like yeah. watching. And like, she has so many people in her corner. And like, I just, I hate this for both families. You just want to hug her because you're Donna, like, Maybe some answers are yeah, coming. Man. I if couldn't I, imagine as a mother, 14 years. I mean, my girls are hardly mm-hmm. older than 14 years. Yeah. yeah. I just couldn't imagine. <clears throat> but couldn't I, imagine. Just to, I just wanted to say a couple, just a nice couple of words to her because yeah. like this, this closure doesn't mean you're getting your son back, you no. know, but we just wanted to say like, but I hope it helps, mm-hmm. it helps your heart and get some closure and uh, you're very strong. Yeah. 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 And then we've had some fun. We've had other fun stuff. Let's get back to fun. Yeah. Um, you had a trip to Ocean City and Mitch and I yeah. also had a trip to the Inn at Little Washington to Which, celebrate our 19 years of love, marriage. Love and marriage. Which I you do. actually haven't told me 100% about this trip. So tell me how it was. Oh, about our, our, our dinner? Inn at Little Washington. Look, I brought the um, menu. No, we did not meet Chef. I know. I'm so depressed. But um, we had an amazing dinner. We got the you know, sampling of everything. And if there was two, we got one of each. Um, and everything was so, was so yummy. I'm, I'm trying to remember like what, oh, my favorite was the seafood one. I can't even, it was like, what are you, oh, are you trying to look? I was burping. Oh, <laughs> I'm disgusting. I'm so sorry. I thought you were trying I was to like, look. <laughs> I was trying to be classy. It was the shrimp and Chesapeake crab, the very, uh, anything seafood, yeah. you get me. But I don't know. Everything's so fancy. Yeah, Carpaccio of big eyed tuna and swordfish. Dean, I wonder if they change this all the time. This I think so because cool. they print it because they have like your names on it and stuff. Yeah, oh, I love it. And then they're like smart and they give you it in a nice envelope when you leave. Yeah. Although I, I do have one critique for the Inn at Little Washington. Oh no, no, don't go after him. No, <laughs> I, just I, I wish we had gotten better photos. Like, I wish there was somebody dedicated mm. to taking a cute photo mm-hmm. upon entering or exiting. Mm-hmm. Just on your, like, can grab my own phone and take a picture of me. Well, Ma- with Mitch, Mitch because Mitch, but our pictures did, were shitty. Well, he took an adorable one of you, but Well, then we that, have the pictures that we took. Yeah. But, like, of uh, I would have liked to have a 19th anniversary Marinated dinner Marinated peaches picture. and tomatoes with buffalo ricotta. Babe, babe, babe. <laughs> but then, but then um, at our... At the end, oh, and I had a pawpaw, a pawpaw, George, George Washington's pawpaw posset. I think it was like one of those clean, like palate cleansers, yeah. like an amuse bouche yeah, yeah, type yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, and it was pawpaw, which is a native fruit to Virginia. Did you know that George Washington I had did. trees on Mount Vernon? Yeah, I and did. And it's know like that. the best way I can describe it is if an apple and a pear had a baby. Mm-hmm. It was very delightful. And I that, could have eaten like a whole 
thing of that. And that is like a weird coincidence because you said you look like Martha Washington today. So. <laughs> I do. No, you don't. I look a little um, my husband has wooden colonial <laughs> with my <laughs> ruffled <laughs> collar. But um, yeah, so then and then we had uh, they come by with a cow with I've the cheeses. Seen pictures of it before. Oh my gosh. It goes so bad. And he comes through and there's like a no. bazillion different fancy cheeses. Yeah. And so Mitch and I just kind of picked four. Like yeah. I was like, oh, that looks good. That one's like, don't ever do that. Don't ever, ever do that. You ask them what is good and then you take their recommendation and you eat it. Say more. Because <laughs> we got a cheese and I couldn't find the cow cart guy, but you know, all the people go walking around and they all have, they're dressed oh my God, to I the know, nines and they're all so formal and it. so kind and sweet. And I flagged down this guy and he said, what's this cheese? And he goes, um, he goes, I think that's, and he, he wrote it down. He goes, I think that's Oma Von Trapp, which now I know why I picked it because it's Von Trapp. And I was like, Sound of Music, yeah, no, this is safe, yeah. this is a safe cheese. I'm there with you. And he was like, uh, I go, can you write that down for me? And he said, um, he said, yeah. And he was like, oh, there's another one that's even better. And he wrote it down. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like, that was disgusting. <laughs> and he goes, disgustingly good. And I was like, it tastes like a fart is trapped in my mouth yeah. and I can't get and it out. you're trying out. to wash it out with a yeah. sock. <laughs> yeah, I was Ooh. like, that is fucking awful. No. So I was like, I have a podcast and I have to talk about this disgusting cheese. And then as I was walking out, he ran up behind me. He's like, I have to know the name of the podcast. So William Pickard. Dude, I love you. <laughs> oh my god, I wonder if he related to Jeff. Oh, I don't know. Our favorite friend Jeff. Yeah, love you, Jeff. Jeff. Love you, Jeff. Mm. Big hugs. Like, you know he's listening. Yeah, yeah. He and he's going to have his critiques. <laughs> and I'm going to touch my face. <laughs> and I've touched my hair about 18 times in just the past minute, Jeff. I like to it's push hot these things back in my ear, as Courtney pointed out. The yeah, whole why time, do you I'm keep like, doing that? Because they fall out. I have a delicate ear. Why don't you put the smaller little things it's on? The smallest one. We have. Oh. We're like these. these Professionals. My name is Jeff Sisk. Thing. Yeah, no, I, nobody knows it. It's Jeff. He's the only other podcast. He's awesome. <laughs> but no, I just keep doing because I just want to fall out of my delicate ear. Um, um, so oh. yeah, that was fun. So yeah, William Pickard, I'm going to come back and see you. Yeah. You can take a picture of Mitch and I. And then we both went to the beach. Tell us about OBX. Oh, I call gosh. it OBX to save time. And also, like, it makes me look like a local, you yeah. know? So go ahead. I did. I went, which I never go to the Outer Banks, but I went with my girlfriends, Carol and Kathy. And, um, we didn't have the greatest weather, mm. but that was okay. We ended up going on a sunset sail on a catamaran with mm -hmm. Captain Butch Stone. Um, I wrote it down. Oh, take two, private catamaran sailings. And there was no sunset, mm. but we did have a <laughs> sail and we had no rain. But you know what the best part was? Mm. He lives on the catamaran in the Outer Banks in Manio. Um, he lives there in the summer, and then in the winter, he's down at Key West. So you can look him up in Key West. But he lives on the boat, so he has his two dogs and his cat. <sighs> so there, it was yes, like, the, oh. That's the dog you were holding? Yeah. yeah. He was, I was like, oh, there's no sun. And he was like, here, hold my dog. And I was like, oh, I don't care about a sun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Carol held that dog the whole, the whole three hours. We had the best time. It was that's nice. Awesome. We listened to music and laughed and had a great time. Captain Butch Stone, look him up. He yeah. was a hoot. I love it. Yeah. Um, mm. Where did you guys eat anywhere cool while you were down there? It's a good question. We had Dune Burger. We yeah. had Sam and Omi's for breakfast. Um, but I'm trying to think, like, I can't rem I don't, uh, clearly they weren't memorable. Mm. I mean, I had more fun with my girlfriends. Not than as memorable as JJ DJ Entertainment, <laughs> if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop doing it. <laughs> that could be like a drinking game. JJDJ.com. Um, I like No, JJDJEntertainment.com. Uh, okay. John? Yeah. And JJDJEntertainment.com is what it is. Yeah. I'm so yeah. sorry. I just got so excited. But listen, I love the Collington Cafe. I don't know what that. I don't go to the Outer I Banks. I know you don't, but you'd love it too. It's I. We used to have a house in Buxton growing up, mm. but then my parents sold that at some point. But that was even like way farther than Nags Head. Mm. Yeah, um, I don't like it that. We'd point. stop at the Kentucky Fried Chicken before we'd head over like Whalebone Junction to get some fried chicken gizzards. Yeah, country. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> like Noxville goes to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And then. <sighs> Courtney and I got to go to Ocean City, Ocean City because of the kindness of Simone Reddington yeah, and her parents. Yeah. 
Um, we got to take our dog. I know, so and fun. That was the like magic of the trip because I don't enjoy um, being away from worrying the house, the dogs. Like I have a you know a little bit of anxiety. Okay, huh. um, and then so we got to take them with us, and they loved it. Yeah, and I've been telling everyone. Did it rain a lot? Just that last day, right? Just kind of like one, when it flooded. Like, yeah, it, no, it wasn't raining when it was flooding oh it was just flooding because of the time yeah because it was, of the moon mm-hmm. How? Yeah. but we um no we had a great time and we went we had crab legs we walked on the beach even though they were having all this medical waste like worry there was nothing <laughs> what the hell was that it about? was weird like uh. three tampons washed up so then um they're setting up for oceans calling this weekend which seems like it's going to be a nightmare but i wish everyone luck mm. um but we just had a really nice time just we had a beautiful um balcony like looking out on the marina um <clears throat> pardon me no but we just had like the greatest time it was courtney's first time in ocean city and we drive around and she's like we're in vegas because she's <laughs> an outer wild. banks girl yeah. and so when we're out there she's like this is vegas this might as well be like freaking vegas and i thought that was hilarious um but thank you so much we just had the most yeah. like relaxing we <laughs> um but the best yeah time. it was wonderful um while right when we got back though um, was um, right when we you no, know, right when we were leaving. Like one of my last clients before we went to the beach was Damien of the sports pub. Oh yeah, love you guy. And he was saying that he was leaving his appointment from his haircut to go and do a photo shoot at the pavilion. Oh, the commercial. Mm-hmm. The with commercial. A, mm-hmm. Yes. With Doug Keen, we <clears throat> love again, um, our acting city manager. If you haven't seen all five and a half episodes of this, and then like all like the <laughs> other restaurant owners, I saw like Sam Tungle was there. It was like so much fun, yeah. like seeing the mm-hmm. all the people in yeah. town. And he, they made a commercial to talk about the new. They did all the new rules that are coming about. And like Nikki said, if you'd seen episode five and a half, we've already kind of covered all of the issues that went down in the last first Friday. And I think that it's an excellent plan to move forward and they can make adjustments accordingly. Mm -hmm. I mean, first Friday season is kind of coming to an end. We're getting into winter. And I think today's our last seven o'clock sunset is what I read. Wow. Wow. That's that's my hair. It's that's a sound effect for my hair right now. Wah wah. Mm-hmm. wah this Martha is what Washington. Smoke's hair does in a my, sauna. Um, my husband's on the dollar bill. <laughs> I was so excited to see that they're going to put these new things in place. Um, I'm curious to see how they um, unfold. Enforcement, enforcement. Enforcement. How they unfold. Um, um, what that's going to mean for the restaurants. Um, I think we should film a commercial. I think you're right. I think, I think there's no that's other, what the, I think, I think that's no what way. they need. I yeah. think that's what First Friday needs. This is Simone and Nikki is PSA. Two middle aged women <laughs> telling you what's gonna happen. But telling every, you how yeah. shit's gonna go down on yeah. First Friday. But I just wanna like shout out to, you know, the restaurant owners and the police and coming together and like the city yeah. manager and like trying to come up with like a plan. Like I'm just so excited. Like the God the changes knows, yeah. or uh, yeah, the changes or the the rules on paper Mm -hmm. so that everybody understands on street sale of alcohol will end at 10 p.m right so yeah so if on the outdoor you cannot purchase alcohol like all the the bars that are set up outside those will all be moved inside last call will be at 9 30. so you may not purchase alcohol on the street you still may consume it if you are consuming it. No one's going to rip it out of your hand and throw it in the trash. No one's going to come scream at you. Not at 10 p.m. Um, I mean, there might be some chug, 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 yeah, chug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you may <laughs> keep your um, alcohol until 11. 11 p.m. Yeah. So yes. that's a full hour. And that is when, like, I believe the streets will reopen. And They'll start start to reopen to reopen safely. the streets. Even um, Doug, even Chief Keen and the city recognize that there's no need to rush to do that, especially the side streets. Like Love they could that. open center mm-hmm. and Which then is Route just kind of gauge it on safety. Yeah. Um, but I think the biggest biggest thing to me is Harris Pavilion is mm-hmm. now going to be treated like a park mm-hmm. and um, they will they are have no trespassing after 10 o'clock right the park have, closes at 10 p.m. 
they're going to have the lights on. Mm -hmm. They're going to have signs out, um, basically letting you know that it's going to be closed at 10 p.m. and you got to go. Got to move on. And then the restaurants are going to close at 12. At 12. Um, And I I saw some people get this confused um, on Manassas talk where they thought they were saying that the last call inside was going to be like 10 p.m., but you could still drink outside until 11 p.m. And it is not that you can. You can still drink outside. You just can't purchase. You cannot purchase alcohol outside of the door of. Yeah. Well, in I, the streets, yeah. you can't those purchase, temporary yeah. bars that they set up mm-hmm. will no longer be there Correct. after that but time. Your you can still drink inside uh, a drink that you purchased inside the restaurant until they close at later 12. on in the evening. Yes, yeah. but at 11 p.m., pour them out, throw them out go home, you know, um, but I, I love it. And so what we'll do is we'll make sure that this is between now and first Friday posted on like our mm-hmm. socials everywhere, yeah. you know, just to let yeah. everybody see it for themselves. Um, and then we're going to be at first Friday. We're gonna be at first Friday. Oh my goodness. I'm really trying to get um, our friends at Cherokee Construction to build us like a big old lemonade stand. I, know. I don't I know even the have a light. Time. I have a light. <laughs> I want like a like an adult size like lemonade stand. I want it so yeah. bad. And I'm we'll like, give out drinks. You know, lumber's free, but like that's my <laughs> that's my dream <laughs> is to have that. And I'm just saying. And, I mean you have like ten days. Yeah. You can do that. They have whipped up the Salisbury Center um, float, which, by the way, I'm a, we're going to be on that. We're going to be <laughs> somehow mixed in with that, maybe handing out candy or whatever uh, this year. But they've whipped that bad boy into shape in like 10 days. I've seen it. Um, I'd like but, to throw stuff at people. You bought... Oh, That's from the yeah, from <laughs> you are oh I'm like you are very much not allowed to do that. No, it's like yeah, I like to such an I idiot. like to toss and yeah. then everybody goes into this frenzied mess. Like I'm usually one of those people, those little people on trying on the to ground, get the candy, like rat, trying to get trying the to get to broken the candy. candy cane. Yeah, I got to be on the float. Not to sidestep too much, but I got to be on the float last year. Um, and. Uh, Courtney um, and like and my friend Megan and her husband Dean like they're like walking besides like giving out candy and I'm on the float like ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No. yeah can we have thrones uh-huh. yeah no, absolutely hundred percent right we Anybody? take them from yeah, Santa um, <laughs> but um, we will be there on first Friday mm-hmm. no matter what our booth looks like yeah and we'll hopefully have a little bit of merch uh-huh. have some merch um, and um, you said that you have a light. I do. I have a pretty light. <laughs> Excited to see it. Um, but what was um, what, what was this contest announcement? Oh, we are going to have a contest for first responders. Um, it's going to it's going to be via nomination, mm-hmm. and we want to find our top first responder in Manassas in our sweet little town. So we'll have more details about that, and hopefully meet some of our. First responders on First Friday. Yes, and um, that's not what I thought we were going to say. So let me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm not passing I out. Know. Although I up. No, I'm getting really hot. We just didn't sit down together right before. No. This. What, um, what are you so talking about? So at First Friday, we would like to. Oh yes. Have four or five people to come up. That Do you have can, something to say? Yeah. That Do we you want to like, be interviewed? That we'd like to interview, mm-hmm. talk to, if you have something you want to say, if you have something that you want to like use our platform and like have a chat about, message us. Um, we will collect, yeah. you know, we'll make, make some time slots. You can come out and then we can, you know. Yeah. And, and then, then we the can street. chat and yeah. you can be part of this podcast because yeah. this is all we do. Yeah. We chat like this one. Clearly, we're not prepared for. Um, but it's and it's <laughs> been very prepared. It's been a couple of weeks, but. Mm -hmm. All we do is make a list of things we want to talk about, and then we just sit and talk about them. And I would love to talk to people. I would love, yeah, um, regular Joe. Come out. Maybe we'll have a a goodie for you. How do they contact you? They would contact. I think the best way. I'm having a hard time with our Google Mail, so I think the um, until they kick us out Facebook page is probably the fastest way to get information to us. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, until so they kick us out Facebook page. Like it, send us a message. Not Instagram. I don't. I forget that I'm, I forget, I forget that exists. Instagram yeah, exists. No, we're really good at social media. <laughs> we're very but yeah. 40s. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> like so bad. God, get off my lawn. But yeah, um, yeah if you would like to um, 
you know, sign up to come and like. You, you want to come hang with us? Yeah. Let us know. Please send so us a message. So we can start throwing our, be our evening together. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, and then, so that is the October 4th. It's Friday, October 4th. And, and then, then the day after, bam. The Fall Jubilee. The 42nd annual Fall Jubilee. October 5th. It's it's I love that they're back to back. I love that for me for like fun, but I hate it like for the city and the people that have to clean. And you know like that, that was brought up at a recent at a recent meeting I was at. Somebody was saying, you know, can we take a look at the calendar because it's just oh, they were saying that when you have two large events like this back to back, they're like we don't even have enough space in our freezer or our refrigerator to house the food we need for the people to for people to consume yeah. to make and the for people to eat the yeah the restaurants yeah. so um yeah that i i think that a, a nice long look at how things are scheduled who we have private events with i think that's a something to definitely um visit in the future yeah for sure yeah i am um, but this year they are still back to back i mean the, i mean we don't really have like a first friday in december do we oh, it's we the, do it's, the it's huge are you well, kidding now i'm remembering now yeah but that, that's that i mean it's not a. It's not the same, but that's when that it doesn't have the same vibe. That's your favorite night. That's though. my favorite night of the year. What is it? What happens? It's the Santa lights um, Old Town in Santa, because our sweet little town of Manassas is the best town mm -hmm. there is. Mm -hmm. He comes to give us a, a pre visit, on the train? and he comes and he, he comes on in on our VRE. Mm -hmm. And he lights our Christmas tree and the choir sing, the school band plays, the school choir sings, the mayor speaks. Um, it's just a magical. It's like you feel like you're walking around in a Norman Rockwell painting, like, except like all the Stars kids are wearing Hollow. pajamas because that's all they wear. Or like Stars Hollow from Gilmore Girls. Babe. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But um, Any of those shows. But that's, it doesn't have the same like. I don't even know if that's like a Dora night. Like, I don't know that it has it's the same not. like vibe. It's not a Dora night. But then night. you turn around the next day and it is like the Christmas Bella parade. Is Christmas parade. Yeah. Which is like, oh my God. There's like two Saturdays. I can't wait to wear my mink. My, oh my God. <laughs> Minxa. Yeah. You know how many minks it took to make that thing? Oh. Is that one big so, mink? Oh my gosh. It's so lush. <laughs> Lush. I love it. But yeah, so um, first Friday, October 4th, we'll post about this. Um, please come see us. Yeah. Trial Jubilee, October Trial 5th. Trial Jubilee, and I do have five. a list of um, entertainment. And there's a bunch of awesome ones. Like uh, there's two stages, the Main Street stage, which is going to be like over in front of Breezy's the, the um, Man Cave. Man cave. Mm -hmm. It's at that corner. Mm -hmm. And um, that day... Saturday, you have the School of Rock, mm -hmm. which is in the morning, which I love. I love that. I love. They are students. It is a music school, and these kids come out and do their shit. And I love it. I am there for it. I cheer for it. I love clapping. I videotape these kids that aren't even mine. I'm sending it to people. She's I on just, a list because of I it. I just think it's the sweetest thing. I love anything that highlights kids, yeah. and I love anything that um, allows kids to be able to express that that Absolutely. art. Yeah. Um, so you have the School of Rock in the morning, George Tyner after that, who's a singer songwriter from Virginia, Cerebrum, that is not spelled like Cerebrum, um, upcoming band, trio of brothers. That's kind of cool. Oh, and, and they the also feature their sister. Like the Salisbury's trio yeah. of brothers. All the, and then you can be the Salisbury sister. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Um, so and then you have mixed screens and then crack sky which is one of our neighbors oh, yeah, mike yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and i love them they yeah. play they're playing from three to five on the main street stage and they play like a lot of 90s green day puddle of mud like all that and i i just cool cool, cool, here cool, for cool. That. do you have a list of the corn dog and funnel cake stands right i don't, there? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> um at the harris pavilion stage you have a lot of dancers you have the um prince william dance academy bull run cloggers suburban gypsies belly dance you know we need a, a fall jubilee without yeah. the belly dancers my friend dale fisher is a, a belly bull, dancer a, well, she's a bull run clogger oh yeah she's amazing she and her husband own a she's a, she could be a clogger belly dancer you and know, really we, trip people up well i wasn't gonna say it but we had <laughs> i had a client that she sent me and this woman was a clogger and a belly dancer and now she's with the lord her name is cindy and it's gonna say her name. Oh. Um, but yeah, so they, she and her husband own Northside Auto Sales, and they usually do a really cool float too yeah. in the um, Christmas parade. And then, what?
what is that? Um, speaking of kids, what is that entrepreneur market? Oh my market? goodness! I saw this on Facebook, and this is a private event. Like somebody's coming in and throwing this event, but it's called the Children's Entrepreneur Market, and I just think this is the most fantastic program. It's open to children from 5 to 17 years old. But look at all these rules. They must be able to run the booth without adults interacting when needed. So they can have a booth at their own, at the they market? Ha- for 20, no, this is this is a separate day. This is October oh. 19th. No, 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 not, not the Fall Jubilee. Yeah. Yeah, not that. This, this, this is October 19th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're saying that these kids, they can have it's, their own? It's only children they have their own booths so they have their own booths and like listen to the the rules it says that the ch- the parents do not answer questions take orders handle food or money you can assist the child when needed but cannot engage customers directly so these kids and from what i read there isn't actually going to be food at this market mm. it's all like wares and art and things and the kids have to create it market it package it sell it and and create their space all on their own and i think that is the coolest concept i absolutely love it it's a saturday okay great um yeah saturday october 19 8 to 1 p.m on prince william street so it's over by the museum and i just think this is the cutest thing ever i cannot wait to go down there and um and see what they have to offer and do some shopping. And I'm just, I feel like it's like Shark Tank of kids. Yeah. <laughs> Show me what you got. Yeah. I'll be working. Simone will be there. Maybe Courtney, you can take Yeah. Oh, Courtney, over let's to go on yeah. the 19th. Yeah. And go see the kids. Um, I just think, not at 8 a.m. I think that's awesome. No. Um, and we'll share all that on our socials yeah. too, because I, I would love to see what these kids come up oh with. Oh my gosh. Awesome. I can't wait. I can't so wait. Cool. I think that's such a neat, neat, neat thing. And um, then what is this about? Oh, I, I was watching the city hall meeting or city council meeting from Monday. Mm-hmm. And um, Tom Osina brought up a really cool program that's um, brushing up for kids. And there's a donation box at city hall until October 15th where you can donate. I mean, brushing up for kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. toothbrushes, dental floss, um, flossers, mouthwash, toothpaste, the whole that's thing. Great. That's and great. so um, that was cool. Um, and I that's want, like an easy Thing. Yeah, anyone just can, grab an yeah. extra box of toothpaste yeah, and drop can, it off at City Hall. That's great. And then you can go check out City Hall. Yeah. And Hal Parrish just had his portrait hung. Remember when we went and they said Hal's wasn't hanging because mm-hmm. it wasn't ready yet? Yeah, I saw that. Mary Riley finished mm-hmm. it up. There was an unveiling. That's what I was watching the city council meeting for. Yeah. And I wanted to see what stupid stuff people had to say. Um, they don't like it, the podcast. Yeah. I love you, Hal Save Parrish. that for the half show. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was, I thought that was neat. I, I, I want to go in and see, because I haven't seen his portrait in, in real life yet. I think on episode six and a half is when I'll tell the story of when I first physically met, like Al Parrish in person as a very yeah. young woman. I'm going to save that for that, because yeah. it's, it's a cute story. Aww. I'll save it. There you go. Give you something to look forward to. Yeah. Episode six and a half. <laughs> Nikki meets Al Parrish. <laughs> like, you know, you heard it here first. <laughs> oh, um, so yeah, you? I just wanted to give shout outs to Michelle. Michelle Hudson, I love her. She's a hairstylist. She owns um, Salon Four Fourteen right here in Old Town, um, and she's a Brentsville grad. Right. She's and she's married to a Brentsville guy, yeah. Jesse. I just love them. She's my, she is my partner to stand by and like cheer for Santa when he comes in on the mm. VRE on Friday night. Yeah. It's like I. Did get I your kids out of my way. Did I meet I her? want Santa to see me. <laughs> you have met her. I met her on first Friday. You did. Yeah. You did when she's we were standing so, out in, in front, front of, of CJ, CJ Finn's. Oh, I thought That's it, right. I said it too. I said it too. Yeah. yeah, no, I met her. She's so sweet. Love that. And I'm also going to call out Will Potts. He's my nephew. He's Carol's son because he owed me toga pictures because he, I was so excited. He was going to a toga party and we were away for our trip. And I was like, well, I want my toga pictures. And he never sent them to me. I'm going to see him this weekend at JMU for parents weekend. And he's going to hear it from me. Suck on that. Yeah. Will Potts. Yeah. There you go. Will Potts. Suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we've gotten to the end of our list. <sighs> yes. Do you have anything else you want to add or are we just going to like have people wait for I mean I think that we have enough for six and a half that I mean make, I could go right into six and a half right now I'm not because it's so hot 100 but 55 degrees I'm gonna have to put ice in my underpants or something come six and a half because hey, it's gonna get hot 
I'm like, what? If you have, if you have information that you want to add to my pile, oh my gosh, let me know. I've been reading through FOIA requests out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. I have been reading just emails that people have sent me with their own experience or their own stuff that they've dug up. Get it to me. Get it It to me quick. I want to look at it. It is funny. Like when you are the one that's going to be like, hey, you know, extra, extra. You heard it. Like people that are like, well, listen to this. Yeah. Like they want to. Oh, they want the word out. You know, you know, which, you know. We don't. I mean, our newspapers don't really touch that anymore. And I thought one guy, he wants to. I mean, he wants to. Yeah. And I hope so. He's I'm sure he's listening. Yeah. He'd bring it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. But with that <laughs> or being, give me the information and I'll talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I will sit politely until yeah. I have something to say. Yes. Um, but you can draw hearts. I, I, that's what I do. I love to draw. But um, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for some more information about like Shane. I can't wait, um, you know, to get like more information with like Momta. Um, and when, whatever we get, we're going to bring it right to you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. So Sounds with that, good. With that being said, yeah, kick us out. John, hello. Yeah, Is anybody. It, do you have? I'll kick us out. Do you have any words of kicking <laughs> out? <laughs> Where do you need to be? What do you need to do? Huh? Time to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sounds hot. good. You guys are hot. Roll. Yeah. Get yeah. out of here. Open that door, hot, my hot, gosh. Hot. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>